Hello viewer, welcome to Elimu TV where you watch and learn. My name is Salingware. I'm going to take you through English lessons. Today we're going to look at nouns. Kindly write to us through our SMS number 43007. Reach to us through our Twitter handle at Elimu TV underscore KE. We also have a Facebook page which is Elimu TV. Welcome. Now, today we are going to talk about nouns. This is a Form 1 uh, lesson. We are going to start, to start with our objectives. And our lesson objectives is that by the end of this lesson, learners should be able to define nouns. You should also be able to classify nouns and give examples of nouns in the five categories. Now, let's start by defining nouns. What is a noun? Nouns are words that identify people. They, ident they identify places. They identify items. And they also identify feelings. Now, let's look at examples of nouns that identify people. We have an, Ben, Mandela, Zawadi and viewer your name is also a noun. Names of places such as Africa, Nairobi, America, Lamu or any other place that you know of. Items such as glass, bus, knife, dog and others also fall under nouns. We also have nouns identifying feelings such as hunger, pain, sorrow, worry, and any other feeling. Now, let's move on. Let's talk about classification of nouns. Nouns are classified into five categories. We have five categories of nouns. The first classification of nouns is a proper nouns. We have common nouns. We have abstract nouns, we have collective nouns, and we have compound nouns. I want you to note that common nouns can be divided into two. Common nouns can be divided into countable nouns and uncountable nouns. We will look at that as we proceed. Let's start with proper nouns. Now, what are proper nouns? We say that proper nouns name people, places, and things. They refer to specific and one-of-a-kind entities. One-of-a-kind, I mean that it is only one of such an object. Your name is a proper noun. A name of a place is a proper noun. A name of a brand is a proper noun, meaning that there exists only one of a kind. I also want you to note that proper nouns start with a capital letter regardless of where they come or where they are in a sentence. Let's look at examples of proper nouns. Andrew and Hussein left for China on Monday. Andrew is the name of a person. Hussein is the name of a person. In the same sentence, you also have China, which is the name of a country, and Monday, which is the name of a day, and all of those belong to the class of proper nouns. Example number two, we have Asia is the largest continent on Earth. Asia is the name of a continent, and Earth is the name of a planet, making two of them proper nouns. Let's move to example number three. English and Kiswahili are the national languages in Kenya. English, Kiswahili, and Kenya falling under proper nouns. Next example, we have Airtel is the leading network provider in East Africa. Airtel is the name of a brand, making it a proper noun, and East Africa is a place, East, a direction, Africa, uh, a continent, making that, that noun phrase a proper noun. The last example is River Zambezi and River Nile are two key rivers in Africa. Zambezi, Nile, and Africa falling under proper nouns. Let's, let's move on. Common nouns. Now, 
Common nouns name general items rather than specific ones. They can be countable or uncountable. Common nouns can be counted and the ones that can be counted are called countable nouns. These can be assigned numerical values while uncountable nouns can't be counted. Now, these can be liquids. Uh, there can also be the kind of items that come in, in, in piles or in groups such as soil, sand, and sugar. Examples of common nouns are, first example, she included a cup, a plate, and a spoon in her packing list. Cup, plate, spoon, list. All those are common nouns. Second example, the story was about a cow and a goat who lost their children to the lion. Lana, I want you to note that story, cow, goat, children, and lion are all common nouns. Next example, we have the accident involved a bus, a truck, and a motorbike. Accident, bus, truck, and motorbike all belong to the group common nouns. Let's move on to another category of nouns known as abstract nouns. Now, I want you to realize that some feelings or what you experience in our, with our senses fall under this category. They are intangible. So, abstract nouns refers to intangible things we experience with our five senses. What are these examples? First example, many animals died of hunger. The underlined word, which is hunger, belongs to the group of abstract nouns. Number two, the victim groaned with pain. Pain is an abstract noun. The ceremony was engulfed in sadness. We also have sadness as an abstract noun. Next, not engaging in ignorance is wisdom. Ignorance is an abstract noun and so is wisdom. Let's move on to another category of nouns known as collective nouns. Now, what are collective nouns? Collective nouns, Lana, are collection of items taken as a whole. There are many of them, but they are treated as one item. For example, a pack of wolves. Another example, or another example in this category is a flight of stairs, a pod of whales, a deck of cards, a pride of lions, a bunch of keys, a pack of dogs, a school of fish, a string of beads, a patrol of policemen, and a troop of performers. All those belong to the group of collective nouns. Next, we have compound nouns, and Lana, as the name suggests, these nouns are made up of two or more words. Examples of compound nouns, we have grandmother, resulting from the word, from the two words grand and mother. We have matchbox, match and box. We have playground, made up of the word play and ground. We have supermarket, we have laptop, we have showroom, we have haircut, of course, uh, formed by two words, hair and cut. Now, that is all we had for today, viewer, and the end of the lesson, uh, we have an assignment for you. Now, the assignment today, I want you learners to classify the following nouns into their appropriate groups. We have a number of nouns in this table, and I want you to draw a table to show where each of the nouns belong. The first noun is Elizabeth. 
and uh, just to give you a clue on what you're supposed to do, you should make a table where Elizabeth should fall under proper nouns. Uh, maybe another clue is that uh, we have the word west, which is coming at the uh, bottom part of the table. And uh, maybe this word west also belongs to proper nouns, so that should also come under proper nouns. Now, I want you to thank you for paying attention to uh, Elimu TV. Keep learning, stay with us, don't go away, another lesson is on the way. I have been your teacher, Salingware. See you next time. Have a good day. Thank you.